hottest guy in Des Moines comedy. God, did you set that bar high? Hi! Everybody, I'm Greg Romas. Thank you so much. This event means so much to me. Um, started eight months ago with a thought, and then it turned into, okay, now let's wake up and tell my wife I want to do this. Um, that took three more weeks. <laughs> because, just, yeah. And then it turned into, okay, how can I do this with, you know, the love of doing comedy and the fact of, of doing something for, something that supports Kennedy. Um, I am going to do my best not to cry during this because I cried the first time I watched that video. And I am tough. <laughs> Ish. Okay? Um, she said, I've been doing comedy for two years. You met my beautiful wife. She is uh, four foot eleven from Missouri. I'm going to say that she's a Cardinals fan. It's okay. It's okay. But I am definitely afraid of her. I have two sons that are both six foot two and six foot three tall, and they are afraid of her. Now I'm telling you, I mean literally, I love my wife, and I'm not scared to go home at night. She means the world to me. Why are you guys laughing? No, I'm telling you the truth. I love my wife. And she is just amazing. But I'm just scared. You know, who put that up there? So you can't even let your son do your uh, production. Uh, you know, I, she's my second wife. Um, and when I met her, she's nine years younger than me. So I'm thinking, I have hit the old guy lotto, right? Who, as, as, as an older man, would not like a younger woman? That is a mistake, because she likes to go on walks, and go camping, and ride bikes. She makes me eat salad once a week. So I know who's sitting in this room. Hey, uh, Shane. Do I look like a guy who eats salad? No. Um, I put so much dressing in that salad that it is like literally soup. It's just, just a mound of soup. So my family is here in the front row. Who else is here? Oh, Aaron, Robbie, and Wes. Hi. Um, you know, <clears throat> my youngest said, you know, me, me and my wife's younger. My youngest, Nick, and both my sons are here, had said, wouldn't it be cool if you met Amber when you were 18 years old? I'm like, heck yeah. She'd been nine. <laughs> so I get to ask this question because he's here. Hey, Mr. Degner, it'd be okay if I knocked on your door when uh, I was 18 and said, hey, I'm here to date your daughter. <laughs> She's nine. Isn't that how they do it in Missouri? <laughs> Oh, that's the thing, though. That's true. That if I had said that, you would have been, let me introduce you to my gun collection, which, by the way, in almost 10 years of knowing the Degner family, I still have no idea where it is in the house, and I don't want to freaking learn. <laughs> I mean, uh, all right, I gotta tell this story. When I met my in-laws the first time, I, everyone remember the movie Meet the Parents? I know my father-in-law was in the Navy, and we're slowly finding out what he did, but I literally think he was Robert De Niro's character. Like somewhere in that house is a lie detector machine. <laughs> and he's literally gonna, he's gonna flip and hook it up to me. It's gonna happen. You know, um, some of you ladies are in here, and, the, and especially this front row, which yes, you sat in the front row, I'm picking on you. Uh, last month was, Mar was March, right? So it was Women's History Month. So I put on, you know what, for any lady that was in here, all the guys, please clap for all the women for having Women's History Month. It's pretty important, right? Give me month. So I gotta ask some questions. I, gotta, I know I'm gonna go over on time, damn it. Um, so, are you ladies okay? Because I'm, I'm, well, I'm concerned because I read from the, the college, college of London that a menstrual pain is as bad as having a heart attack. A heart attack. Once a month, if I get a hangnail, I'm a bitch for like a week. I'm just done. Hang on, I forgot about that. 
I'm allowed to swear now. Um, I told one coming back here, I said, I would take credit cards because I know what comes out of your mouth. But I mean, I can't imagine walking around once a month having a heart attack. Just, oh my God, it's here. How do you ladies do it? You know, I have the secret. I think I know it. I did a show in Marshalltown, and um, it's wine. It is literally wine. Like, you ladies need to have, like, your wine of the month club. And you need more than one month, because literally, I personally am waiting for Fat Guy December. I mean, this is Iowa. Can we get a month? Can I at least have, can we have one month? Thank you. Uh oh. Thinking about time. All right, I gotta throw these jokes in. So recently, uh, thinking, of, thinking of amazing women, Betty White died and Bob Saget died. And it was pretty sad, but for, you know, my wife being younger, Bob Saget was kind of like, you know, dad was on tour in the Navy and everything. So Bob Saget was kind of like, you know, Danny Tanning was like her second dad. Or mine was Bill Cosby. And he's a rapist. <laughs> no, it's, I mean, seriously, he's, the scary thing is he's out now. I won't eat jello. I, I am so scared that I'm gonna wake up and there's old, there's old cause at the end, end of my couch. So, wake up, daddy, because it's pudding pot time. Uh, and I'll say one more joke and then I'm gonna bring up my, I got, we did 70 comics applied to be a part of the show, and I brought the eight best comics, and they were judged by four people. Uh, we were judged on everything, like quality of your tape, what your presentation was on stage, you have eye, everything. Um, I should have brought the worst ones. <laughs> There's this one guy from North Carolina, I wanted to write him and go, find a full-time job, please. Just because you should not be doing, I'm, some days I'm off, you are shit. I get four more, by the way, there's six bucks in there. I was there in my pocket. Um, so, uh, going back to Bob Saget, isn't it kind of strange, though, that he's the host that was in America's Funniest Home, you used to watch it, America's Funniest Home Videos, and it was all about shows about people falling down in their head. I don't think it's that funny anymore, is it, Mr. Saget? 